You must begin to train your mind. Hello? Hello? Whoever watching me from, hello? Begin to train your mind. When God was training Moses in the bush, you know what God did? He said to Moses, Moses, take the stick, put down. It became a snake. I think he jumped. <laughs> and then God said, hold it by the tail. So God was, you see, there are some snakes you are facing in life. God is trying to train you to, to stop fearing. And we said, hold it by the tail. Would you hold a snake by the tail? God said, hold it. So he had to hold it by the tail. It became a stick against it. Going, huh, I am your God. I shall be with you. Some snakes you are facing now that you're holding by their tails is it because God is trying to remove fear out of you. Some of you are having snakes of diseases, snakes of financial challenges. God is trying to remove fear. Because Moses is going to go to Egypt, and when he goes to Egypt, he's going to meet magicians who shall also perform their own snakes. Am I talking to you? They will also have their own snakes. Now, can you imagine if it was the first time Moses to go there and to meet the magicians and they put sticks and they become snakes? Moses could have used the window <laughs> to go home. <laughs> Are you understanding? Yes. God allows some of the things that you see, that you face, to remove fear out of you. Are you here, right? Now, let me just show you some such events. It is when you begin to see in your mind, when you begin to have conversations. Now, the biggest problem, as I said, is you are so natural to a level where, but even at night, if you feel something touching you, it's evil. Even right now, when you are thinking, you think your mind is evil. Even when you are praying, inside your prayer, some of you, you don't even know that mind, that thinking that comes as you are praying. It is actually God talking to you. You're like, ah, I'm not serious. <clears throat> Let me be serious now. Father, Rabbi, you are not blocking God talking. When, when you begin, you see, for example, you're praying for your business. As you're praying for your business, you begin to think about it. Inside prayer, stop praying. Allow that mind to continue. To continue. If possible, be writing notes. Be writing down. The Father is talking to you. By the time you are done, you, you, you had a prayer. May your mind become the mind of Christ. Never think all the times you're wrong, all the times the devil, all the times you're blocked, all the times it's you. It isn't you. God is talking. You have the Holy Ghost. Yes. Do you know how the Bible was written? Do you know how the Bible, this Bible that you have, do you know how it was written? A man, Peter, took a pen like this and he began to write. What he was writing was God talking. And it's called first Peter, second Peter. Paul took a pen like this and began to write. What was coming is the Bible says it was inspired. And then he said to the Romans, it became the Bible. God was talking. Heves. Hazon. So there is something in you that God wants to talk to you. And I'm putting emphasis. There is an idea that God wants to show you. And some of you, God shows you already. He showed you how your miracle happened. Do not doubt it.